Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Shadow banking, EU looks for even greater reach for state control of financial, aka fiscal, operations. Britain's 40th anniversary of EEC membership. Tough new EU import rules for African farmers. Plus, I revisit the Brave New Europe series from Ron LaBelle. How could he have known the true intent of our Euro elite? I'm Rick Timmis, and this is The Unit Nightly News. First, from our legislation section. In its efforts to gain deeper European integration and centralise financial control under the pseudoname Fiscal Compact, our researchers have revealed further legislation targeting the financial sector. The EU Commission now seeks to pass laws and directives giving it stricter control over the shadow banking sector. Shadow banking covers those financial transactions that are out of reach of state legislation currently. Interestingly, the Parliament voted this through on a show of hands, not via the traceable electronic voting system. Britain signed up to the EEC, or European Economic Community, on January 1st, 1973. At the time, there was deep concern about the risk to democracy and national sovereignty. Edward Heath stated publicly on television, There are some in this country who fear that in going into Europe we shall in some way sacrifice independence and sovereignty. These fears, I need hardly say, are completely unjustified. Now, some people will say he was conservative with the truth. Some say he outright lied. And others say he committed treason. Take a read of this article and you can decide for yourself. Tough new rules for Kenyan farmers came into force from January the 1st. All exporters of beans and peas are required to fill the common entry document Annex 2 in line with the new EU requirements. The article goes on to target dimethoate contamination as the reason such regulation is required. However, a little further research on Google turns up the following. The population as a whole is not generally subjected to exposure to dimethoate from air, water or food. However, occupational exposure may occur during manufacture, formulation and use. This mainly occurs through inhalation and dermal absorption. This is just one piece from a whole portfolio of legislation, duty regulations and market controls that are excised to balance African and European primary industry markets. Want to know why African growers are starving because they can't get a fair price for their produce? Take a browse through our legislation section. You'll see hundreds of items of legislation designed to tie the African producers up in knots. Furthermore, what we have uncovered hardly even scratches the surface. Links to the articles and the online fact sheet about dimethoate are below. We reported on the intentions of our European masterclass well over a year ago. Ron LaBelle wrote a series entitled Brave New Europe, available in our articles section, and I've provided a link below. How could Ron have predicted with such accuracy the intent to create a federal superstate? Well, Brave New Europe Part 2 reveals the truth. Founder of the European project, Jean Monnet, stated in 1952, The nations of Europe should be guided towards a supranational state without their people understanding what is happening. This can be achieved by successive steps, each disguised as having an economic purpose, but which will eventually and irreversibly lead to a federation. This intent has now been announced to the public, this is the end game. The final pieces of the European federal superstate are being put into place. A superstate without democracy, a tyranny, a dictatorship controlled by a closed shop of 27 elite people appointed by invitation only. Today in our video library we have a brilliantly produced piece of film. The 4.6 trillion euro secret debt of Europe. This one will make your eyes pop out. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. 
You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.